of God. My text today is going to be tight tight is physically fit, spiritually alive. He told Timothy to be physically fit, but spiritually alive. The Bible has some good things to say about the physical body pertaining to his creator and what it was created for. In Psalms 1, 139, about verse 10, 13, the Bible says, I will praise thee, for I am fiercely and wonderfully made. David said, Marvelous, marvelous are thy works, and that thy, and that my soul knoweth right well. You know we were created by God. He blew, blew his breath into our bodies. And out of dust of the, of the earth, he made us a living soul in his image. The body was perfectly and wonderfully made. It has various members according to 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, I mean the 12th chapter, verses 12 through 5 and 45. It has various members of various organs, all working to the profit of the function of the one living body. It is a title. The physical body is compared to the church. Therefore, it can be looked at as a type of church. The church being the antitype, the body of Christ. Many people, I want to say, I'm going to get my, my calm now. Me and my daughter went and worked out this week. And the first time, I was, I was probably ain't going to work with that first time. And she, she didn't really work out like me. <laughs> she did the do. She did the Zumba class. So that's what, you know, young lady. Okay. Right. And I was doing the steps. And I climbed the steps. I did 140 steps in 40 minutes. Sweat was just tripped off of me. I was just feeling good and everything. Many people place great emphasis upon physical well being. Look at the number of gyms, tennis courts. Swimming pools, health clubs. You know, Paul had told Timothy to watch out for favors. I think the media gives us favors. I think the media gives us favors. See, the media is telling us that, and this is my opinion, church. And I want y'all to say this something right instead of the Bible. This is big. Preachers can give you a pity. As long as we let God's word back in. One favor is I believe that I don't believe that man is living on that. I don't believe it. I don't believe with all these diseases, diabetes, cancer, AIDS, Ebola, every time I look, when we were seeing our young men and women, uh, our young men getting shot, shot up every day. Terrorism. I, I believe that some people, some say this is society will die much younger. And you know, the Bible of Psalms, the, the 90th chapter, Psalms 90 and 10 says, the days of our years are three score years and ten. And if by reason of strength, they be four score years, yet is their strength, is their strength, their strength, labor, and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and we will all fly away. Three score year plus ten. My life expectancy. I'm three years away from six. I gotta get my get the work done. I gotta lay my tread trace up in that. Right now. My, my father died in 56. And the brother died 33. My mother was blessed. She did 84. She was blessed. She did us three score year plus ten. And you're right, have three score plus ten, then she got another ten. Number fourteen. That's what I'm trying to say to you, church. Physical. People put a lot of emphasis on the physical. I was one that stared karma because I was one that had diabetes. The doctor told me, I'm not trying to believe me. I'm not trying to see it's another bill. You have 70 year old men on a commercial. You see the 70 year old men and they're ripped. And they said, ah, I can think. Get, get over 30. 
And watch. Watch how hard it is to keep the ribs. But see, our bodies were made for a purpose. Physical fitness is only when it's, it's beneficial only when it's used to glorify God and for the kingdom of God. We spent time seeking to improve the quality of life as well as our quantity of years. For some physical exercise, exercise excuse me, comes close to being a midget in and of itself. My brother, she got me on Facebook, got me my read a little bit of Facebook, got me maybe half hour every night, and I see guys. <laughs> And, and then, you know, and I, and I look at it, I said, man, this is crazy. <laughs> and, and then I see, wait, wait, I'm not finished. Then I see one of my, some of my brothers and sisters. <laughs> then I see, I said, oh my goodness. And they just show their arms and show their legs. And, so, and see, I don't have a problem with that. If, yeah, if I'm studying, I'm going to get to this later. But if, if you're studying your Bible, if you're going out and if you're teaching, if you're working out and doing your workouts, you're getting, you're getting people to come, come to come to visit church with you and you're telling people about how good God has been to you. Because that's not being seen. The Bible, the Bible, God says good things about the body, but also we need to know that the body is corruptible. It was so corruptible. According to, according to 1 Corinthians 15, turn with it. According to 1 Corinthians 15, Verses 42. First Corinthians 15 and verse 42. The Bible says. 15 and 42 says, So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is so a perishable body. What body? Your body. It is so a perishable body. It is raised the imperishable body. Whose body? Jesus' body. It's raised the imperishable body. See, so, so when I was baptized, I likened my body was likened to Jesus' body, being buried in baptism. But it also was likened to Jesus' by being raised up from the dead. Thank you, Jesus. Because I'm, not, I'm just trying to work my body so my body can be likened unto the body, the body, the imperishable body of the frame. It is sown in this dark, in this heart. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown in natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there's a natural body, there's also a spiritual body. So also, it is written, the first man Adam became a living soul, the last Adam became a life-giving spirit. However, the spiritual is not this body that I work out. The spiritual is not this body. As good as it is, ain't the body. The spiritual is not the first, but natural. Then the spiritual. The first man is from earth. The first Adam. Earthly, the second man is from heaven. Amen. So we can see that the Bible says some good things about this body, but don't you put a whole lot of stock in this body. For some physical exercise comes close to being religion of in and of itself. I've known runners to admit it's up, it's up, it's up. Sunday for them is a dead sport. It's not a day of recreation. Physical exercise and well-being has its place, but must be kept in perspective. One passage that helps us do this is the text that we just read in 1 Timothy, starting, 1 Timothy 4, 7 through 8. First, let us see what we can learn about body exercise. See, because he said body exercise does profit a little. Is it my body exercise to profit salute? Has anybody ever seen a Nike commercial? 1995. There was a Nike commercial. And in this Nike commercial, you had uh, all the different, this, it actually was a young 
a young ladies commercial. And it had all these different young ladies from all races, white, black, Asian, Mexican. And the theme of the commercial, if you would, if you would only let me play. If you would only let me play. And then each one would show a face. First the white face would come to write them and say, I would be like, I would like myself more. Then the Asian face would say, I would have more self-confidence. Then another face would come up and say, 60%, I'd be 60% less likely to give breast cancer. And then another face would come up and say, I'd be, I would suffer less depression. Then the black face would come up. I'd be less likely to get pregnant before I would. <laughs> then another face would come up and say, I'd be more likely, listen to this, I'd be more likely to leave a man who beats me 